ここでタリン・ハットン・ジョーンズさんの ACL 損傷の診断から彼女がスポーツに復帰するまでのフィルムを見ていきたいと思います彼女はドクター CC コングのケアを受けることになっていますまたドクター・テランス・チャンも登場いたしますこの2人がアジアメディカルスペシャリスト膝外科手術専門チームを構成しています人体は繊維の束で通常関節を交差して2つの骨をつないでいますこれが関節ブロックを安定させる基盤であり外れにくく強固に固定されていますしかし動作を可能にするに十分な柔軟性もありますまた多少伸縮性があり衝撃や負担を軽減してくれます ACL いわゆる前十字靭帯は後十字靭帯とともに膝の大きな4つの靭帯の一つで大腿骨と頸骨の留め具の役割を果たしていますこの2つの靭帯は膝で交差しているため十字の名がついています膝内部のもう一方の主要な構成成分は軟骨ですこのテフロン用の表面が骨先端を覆い骨と骨の動きをスムーズにするのに役立ちますまた衝撃を吸収してくれます半月板はカップ状の軟骨でできており頸骨の先端を包んでいます ACL の主要な役割は膝がほぼまっすぐな状態で旋回運動をする際に膝をコントロールすることです ACL に関連してスポーツ選手がよく行う動作はカットサイドステップなど走行中の方向転換ですつまり膝を使う動作をするときは ACL をよく使うということでもあります ACL により旋回運動が安定するのはその構造つまり2つの特徴ある繊維束がお互いを包み膝にねじれ構成を与えることに起因しますこれらは全内側側及び甲外側側と呼ばれダブルバンドル修復技術を適用させた場合は個々に再構築されますこの正確な ACL の組織再生により従来型のシングルバンドル ACL 再建術よりも修復した膝の安定度が非常に高くなります Um, as soon as I hit the floor, I, my knee twisted in, twisted out. I heard a, quite a severe pop.、Um, felt pain, but nothing, nothing too serious at that point.、Um, and I realized that I'd definitely done some damage when, when I tried to get up. I was jumping to contest the ball. I stuck my right leg out to sort of kick the ball out of the air. My, both my feet were off the ground.、Uh, someone came in from the side. And caught me, I think it was with his foot, just on the outside of my right knee. So, my left leg didn't touch the floor, but it was on the floor. So, my left leg was on the floor. Unfortunately for me, it's the third time that I've、um, torn my ACL. So, I actually pretty much knew what it was straight away when it happened. I really thought I fell down, tripped over something, and tried to get back up, but I couldn't. I didn't hear any popping sound or cracking sound. But at that point, I mean, it was hugely swollen. You could see it had just gone wham. Even with the ice, it was probably about twice the size of what a knee should be. So、um, I knew it was something relatively big. So, in fact, the field is a good thing. I don't have to go out. And then, I don't have to go out. I went home. Next day, I was in the front. It was about two feet of weight. そちらの上海なんですけれどもそこの病院にまず行きましたで専門のドクターがいらっしゃらなかったようなのでまずジェネラルドクターの方にかかってでそこで、まあ、レントゲンと MRI です。それ当時は私は覚えていない問題。私は武術練習を受けて、私は受けた問題、受けた問題、受这次可能也会不是很大的一个问题，你可以你可以克服过来。Waited for for a couple of months until the new season started and、um, tried to go back onto court again and realized obviously then that I、uh, the knee was was out of commission. And any sort of pivoting motion was was very painful. Any any jumping on the knee was quite painful. Any sudden movements. Um, again, quite painful. Okay, now relax the hamstring, and then the、uh, this anterior jaw test. We can see that the um, uh, your knee is unstable, and the, your shin bone is moving excessively to the front. 
okay now keep your legs and the second is the alignment test and again the uh, we can see that the um, the ACL is loose now this is uh, we call a pelvic shift test um, now this test is very specific for the ACL problem so I can feel the um, Jackie motion of the knee. So basically, uh, your knee is jumping out and in, yeah. so that the uh, all the tests are positive. He pretty much on examination said to me, "I think you've ruptured the ACL, and um, we need to do an MRI." So I came for an MRI here as well, um, and I was as shocked as anybody when the results came back within a couple of days, and they said it was a complete tear of the ACL. Now ACL is, the, uh, is a ligament uh, sitting in the middle or the center of the joint that connect your thigh bone and shin bone. Um, this is the MRI of your knee. Uh, this is in the front, this kneecap in the front, uh, the thigh bone and shin bone. Now um, this is your um, the damaged ACL. Normally we should see a very nice ligament in this position. And meniscus damage, everything else is okay? Now the black triangle here is your meniscus. It's normal in appearance. We need to uh, check the meniscus again by the arthroscopy because sometimes the MRI may not be able to demonstrate minor injury of meniscus. So, how's your knee? Um, right now I still have some clicking on my mm. knee. Where is exactly the click? It's on the outside of my knee. Mm -hmm. yeah. And other than click, does it hurt? Um, right, a little bit when little I do full squats. And uh, what about when you do exercise? Um, if I push it hard, then uh, I will feel a little bit discomfort. Mm -hmm. Have you ever come across locking or swelling? Only some clicking. Clicking yeah. only. Yeah. Okay. Victor, I'm going to palpate around your knee. Let mm -hmm. me know if it hurts. Okay. okay. It's fine right over there. No, yeah. there. Okay. What about the outer joint line? Uh, a little bit. A little bit, yeah. right. And then uh, I'm going to perform the memory test. It may hurt a bit, and okay. let me know, okay? Okay. Okay, I feel some clicking in there. Mm. And yeah. does it hurt? A little bit. Yes, yeah. okay. I'm going to do the epi grinding test. Mm. Does it hurt? Uh, it's okay. It's no pain, right? Yeah. Your medial meniscus is all right? A little bit of uh, discomfort there. A little bit of pain. Yeah. Uh -huh. So again, this sign is positive, which is suggestive of an uh, outer meniscal tear. Okay. Victor, here is the set of MRI of your right knee. Here is the inner side, while there is your outer side. The bright signal there, which signify there is a tear in your outer meniscus. And while in the inner side, it appears black which is normal. In terms, what exactly is the meniscus? Okay, here is the uh, knee model, okay? And um, this is the end of your thigh bone, and here is your top end of the shin bone. The white here, the lunar shape, is the outer meniscus. It serves uh, to provide conformity around your knee, and it acts as a salt absorbent to share the load around your knee. Um, what's the treatment going to be like? Because you are young, active, and uh, the, it causes you now uh, problems such as a click, the pain, and occasional locking. So I suggest it's a keyhole surgery to get it repaired. Um, is there like, another option like other than surgery? If you leave it untreated, the tear may get bigger and cause you more trouble and your knee may end up with early osteoarthritis. Then I was given the choice of three different things. 
that was leave it and do nothing. Um, have physio and try and strengthen the leg enough to be able to return to some, but not all sport. Or have the surgery and more than likely be able to return to any sport I liked. He explained you know, what the ACL did, why I need it, how it's relevant for me in terms of twisting and turning and playing sport. And I do play quite a lot of sport. I play golf, I play tennis, I play football, and they're just the ones that involve twisting on the knee. So, it's one of the two options. Well, of course, I was still a player at the time. Well, of course, I wanted to do tennis. Well, of course, I didn't have any fun. So, I decided to do the surgery. Well, of course, I From the story you told me and also my feeling on your knee in examination, uh, the damage should be quite severe and that should be our, we call the complete tear. You have options. Okay, now the first option is um, surgery. It means that they uh, give you a new ligament, namely the ACL reconstruction. Okay. So make your knee stable again. The second option is that the uh, uh, you go through uh, physiotherapy, so basically you have a strengthening program to compensate for this instability, but that will not be complete, okay? And then you have to be a little bit uh, quite cautious about your exercise. Um, say uh, you should avoid the pivoting exercise. Okay, so if I, if I do not have the surgery, then the sports that I choose to play I can't? Um, it's not recommended okay. because uh, you get injury again and again. At the end, you may end up with uh, quite obvious arthritis in long term. Okay. I've, I've not ever had an operation before, but I certainly didn't want to stop playing sports already. Uh, and so I booked in. So he was very clear and very clear to me that we have to do a surgery. We have to do this surgery. 做你的工作，特别是你的这个比较强度比较大的，嗯，要求对膝关节要求比较大的一些工作。那 most likely you need the、uh, ACL reconstruction, but that if we find something else like the meniscus damages, then we're going to fix it by a standard meniscus repair. So basically, we fix all the problem in one go. <音>